welcome to Josh Drossash. Welcome, you beautiful human. Listen, we are here, okay? Because the man, the myth, the legend, the Robin Williams is back on this channel again. You guys know how much this means to me, okay? How much this man means to me, okay? If you want to see what this man means to me, just go see my Goodwill, you know, Goodwill um, hunting reaction. Destroyed me. But this man has made me fall in love with entertaining people. And also, like, I couldn't speak English. Do you understand? And he still got through by the way he expressed himself, the, the smile he put on people's faces, like the emotional attachment to this guy you have when you watch a movie is insane. You don't even know this guy, okay? I'm in Iran, bro, and this man lives in California, wherever it is, right? And he's had such a massive impact on me that every time I watch a movie with him, I don't go on my phone straight watching, full focus, has my attention, you know, he has my curiosity and my attention, this man is a legend, every time I see him, makes me emotional, he's the only celebrity that when he passed away, I couldn't stop crying, so this ain't just a reaction, this ain't just any other movie reaction for me, this is a man who's actually inspired me to do what I want and I fucking love him for it and I wish I could have thanked him somehow you know as he's walking you know to his car paparazzi I just be like oh hey Robbie cheers mate that's it that's all I wanted to tell him make sure you subscribe like share all that jazz go on to our patreon as well check out the full length reaction I fucking love you let's get into this Life exists and identity. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. I don't think I could put my kids through these schools. Imagine you're like you're paying what 30, 40 thousand a week probably, and then you see your kid yeah with these banners. What is he, Braveheart? Is man going to war? You're like, what are you studying or you're getting ready to be uh, William Wallace? What are the four pillars? Tradition, honor, discipline, excellence. How many of these kids are actually here because they want to? Most of these kids are here because their parents want them to. You will have the opportunity later to meet his replacement, Mr. John Keating. Himself an honors. Oh, hey, legend. This is our youngest, Tom. Mr. Anderson, you have some big shoes to fill, young man. Your brother was one of our finest. Your brother was one of our finest. Look, already they're putting pressure on him. Expect great things from you this year. Thank you, sir. Well, he won't disappoint us. Right now, I'll do my best, sir. You see that pressure? It's that constant pressure just looking down on your kids. It's not even motivation. It's more like, bitch, you listen, look how much I paid. You're, you're carrying banners here, mate. Yeah? You've got lake views. You've got orange trees. You better get that A, bitch. I think that you're taking too many extracurricular activities this semester, and I've decided that you should drop school annual. But, Father, I can't. It wouldn't be fair. Fellas. I'm telling you, man, one of the worst feelings, yeah? My dad used to do this to me as well try to make me do maths honest to god like you don't understand what you the power you have as a parent don't you ever dispute me in public you understand but until then you do as i tell you this ship i was this guy i was this kid i'm telling you right now why doesn't he let you do what you want yeah no. tell him off couldn't get any worse oh that's rich like you guys tell your parents off all right jesus so what are you gonna do then? what i have to do Rocky Mate, these kids will never know what they actually want to do and it will fuck them up in the future. My dad, yeah, he, man, that man pressed me to do maths. Imagine your boy doing maths. Fuck that, man. I remember I had the biggest argument with my dad over it. The first 20 questions at the end of chapter one are due tomorrow. Agricola. 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 <laughs> You see the rest of the teachers, yeah? 
all act, like they were just robots. They weren't even passionate. Like the way they talk and stuff. This man comes in whistling. Well, come on. <laughs> He's already changing the way they think and behave by just making them step out of the classroom. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Now in this class, you can either call me Mr. Keating, or if you're slightly more daring, oh, Captain, my Captain. Yeah, you're my Captain, bro. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. What does that mean? Carpe diem. That sees the day. Oh. Gather your rosebuds while you have time? Because we are food for worms, lads. Symbolisms. Each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing. Wow. He has them hooked. You see, none of them are messing about. They believe they're destined for great things. Just like many of you, their eyes are full of hope. Did they wait until it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable? These boys wow. are now fertilizing daffodils. Wow. If you listen real close, you can hear them whisper their legacy to you. See, now, this, these students here yeah, will look forward to those lessons. Like, it just keeps you on your toes. Whereas the other teachers, they don't see them as students. They just see them as another paycheck, you know? Like, I have to get through it. Like, there's no passion. There's no love behind what they say. Do you know what I mean? They're just teachers by tags. This man is an actual teacher. Like, a lot of teachers need to watch this kid movie, man, because they, I swear to God, you teachers have so much power, but they just fuck it up, man. I swear to you. A good teacher is so, so important, man. I had that teacher, yeah. Like, I used to bully these uh, teachers and stuff. Like, ask my sister. They know by my, by my surname, when my sister went to the same school, yeah, they told her, oh my God, are you Ash's sister? Hopefully you're not anything like him, yeah? I had a teacher, her name was Miss Dotton, a Jamaican lady. She changed the way I thought about things, right? She made me get A's. I went from E student to A's, right? I'm telling you, man, a good teacher who actually cares about you and your future... It's so important, man. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. Knocks over street. <laughs> Seize the day, boy. Seize the day. Carpe diem. To fully understand poetry, we must first be fluent with its meter, rhyme, and figures of speech. One, how artfully has the objective of the poem... Look how rendered... bored they are. Look at their faces. Man's daydreaming. He's probably thinking about... Poem's perfection. The shit he's going to watch tonight. And he knows it as well. Look, look, look. He's bored. <laughs> Excrement. That's what I think of Mr. J. Evans Pritchard. We're not laying pipe. We're talking about poetry. How can you... Mm, do you see that? Now I want you to rip out that page. Yo, I love it, man. This is so sick. Rip out the entire page. That is so symbolistic. Rip it out. Create your own chapter. You know, don't copy shit. Symbolisms, bro. Now, my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. Wow. See, look, create your own chapter in symbolisms. A little secret for you. Huddle up. Wow. I love how he's so passionate. Every time he talks, he wants to, like, it's like he's talking to each of them. It's amazing. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. Wow. But poetry, beauty, these are what we stay alive for. Wow, look at the passion, man. Cities filled with the foolish. What good amid these, oh me, oh life? Answer that you are here, that life exists, and identity. That the powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. Oh my god. That the powerful play. Oh, that's amazing. Goes on tribute of verse oh wow wow what will your verse be wow you will never know what your verse will be 
if you keep reading and copying shit from these textbooks, if you try and copy these people who were before you, man, like ripping that shit, it's so powerful, man. That's how you can contribute your own verse, by being your own person. Show me the heart unfettered by foolish dreams, and I'll show you a happy man. But only in their dreams can men be truly free. It was always thus, and always thus will be. Wow! <laughs> yeah, you don't even know this person who put the quote, bitch. Fuck, I love this man so much. Man just owned him with poetry. What, he's in a rap battle? Poetry battle. He's the slim shady of poetry. The dead poets were dedicated to sucking the marrow out of life. We didn't just read poetry. We let it drip from our tongues like honey. Spirits soared. Women swooned. But not a bad way to spend an evening, eh? Look how he's just changing their minds, like the way they think already. What he said was amazing here. Yeah? He said, you create this dead poet society, you would suck the life out of life, like, like suck the bone marrow out of life, right? Whereas these teachers are sucking the life out of these kids. Symbolisms. And I love his story so far as well, right? This man, this kid is like, he's like a puppet. Like his dad is like controlling him like a puppet, right? Everything about his life, the way he thinks. Robin Williams comes in and makes him a free thinker and now he's inspiring everyone else. He's legit creating Dead Poets Society when he's been told not to and it's risky. Today we're gonna to be talking about William Shakespeare. Oh, God. Now many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus, bring your friend hither. Look, <laughs> through comedy, he's changing the way they think about Shakespeare. Imagine maybe John Wayne is Macbeth going, well, is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> you know how they were copying shit from the board, yeah? They would instantly forget. As soon as they leave that room, they would forget. He, this shit would stick to them and they would never forget it. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. See, the world looks very different from up here. Come see for yourselves. Come on. See, look, they were about to fall asleep here when you talked about William Shakespeare. Now he's make them stand on tables, bro. Boys, you must strive to find your own... Wow! Thoreau said most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't be resigned to that. Wow. Oh, my God. Most men live a life of quiet desperation. Oh my God. <laughs> I would like you to compose a poem of your own, an original work. Mr. Anderson. Don't think that I don't know that this assignment scares the hell out of you, you mole. Oh my God, that is amazing, man. See, look, not only he sees everyone, Right? He sees the details, he sees the witnesses, he sees that some of them lack confidence. And he's speaking through them, man. I'm gonna act. Aha! Yes! Yes! I'm gonna be an actor. Ever since I can remember, I wanted to try this. He's given this kid so much life. First time in my whole life, I know what I want to do. See, look. But my father wants me to earn a carpet GM! Wow! Wow! How are you gonna be in a play if your father won't let you? Uh, hey, but won't he kill you if he finds out you went to an audition? He doesn't give a shit. Ask him, and, and maybe he'll no. say yes. No, <laughs> that's a laugh. Yeah, but if he said no, Jesus, before, Todd, whose side are you on? Oh, see, he's still stuck in his ways. I, mean, I haven't even gotten a part yet. Can I even enjoy the idea for a little while? Wow. Robin Williams' character is the exorcist. Yeah, exercising that shit, that pressure that the parents put on his kids and he's just sucking out of them. Symbolisms. So you want me out? No, I want you in. But being in means you gotta do something, not just say you're in. I'm, I'm not like you. You say things and people listen. I'm, I'm not like that. Don't you think you could be? See the effect of a good teacher has on you, yeah? It inspires the shit out of you. And then it's like a domino effect and you pass it on to people because you just learned something amazing and you want to share it with people. That mate, that's his verse, right? 
he's contributing his verse by motivating his friends, but also striving for something that he wants to do. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think no poetry skills is going to get you away from that guy's arms, bro. Them legs and his height. No poetry is going to save you. <laughs> I see a sweetness in her smile. Oh, he wrote about the girl. <laughs> She's alive. Mr. Hopkins, you were laughing. You're up. <laughs> I love that. The cat set on the mat. I like this as well because it shows no matter how amazing you as a teacher, you can't get through to everyone. I don't mind that your poem had a simple theme. Sometimes the most beautiful poetry can be about simple things. Just don't let your poems be ordinary. Wow. See, he didn't mug him off here. He made a joke, but he also appreciated his work. So you're sitting there in agony. Come on, Todd, step up. Let's put you out of your misery. I, I didn't do it. I didn't write it. Oh, because he's scared to read in front of people. Anderson thinks that everything inside of him is worthless and embarrassing. And that's your worst fear. I think you're wrong. I think you have something wow. that is worth a great deal. See, look, as a teacher, yeah, any teacher, any teacher, I swear to God, you don't understand how powerful this fucking scene is. And it's making me emotional, man. Because any teacher, yeah, if you forget fucking homework, what they, what they do, what do they do? They shit on you, bro, in front of everyone. They embarrass you and they give you an hour's attention or something, right? This man gave him confidence, bro. Gotta get in your ping stance. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's a mouse. Come on, louder. Yo, oh, good God, boy, yeah, like yeah. that. There it is. Now, you don't get away. You ain't easy. going anywhere. You have, don't think. Answer. Go on. A, a, a madman. What kind of madman? Don't think about it. Just answer again. A crazy madman. Oh. He's not giving him enough time to be embarrassed and to look around people to see what they think of him. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close them. Now, describe what you see. From the moment we enter crying to, to the moment we leave dying, it'll just cover your face as you wail and cry and scream. Wow. <laughs> Don't you forget this. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I d that is one of the best scenes in movie history. As a teacher, yeah, that moment you could have either made that kid into the most un insecure, like unconfident little bitch, right? Or instead of giving up on them, yeah, and fucking detention, yeah, you create a way to inspire them, and he closed his eyes, turned around, and made him think, and the next thing you know, he opens his eyes, and he's like, saying these words that he didn't think he was capable of, don't you ever forget this, you see that kid, he's going to say this to his son, and his son's going to say to his son, you completely changed the way he thinks now, if I don't have Chris, I'm going to kill myself, I've been calm all my life, I'm going to do something about that, Wow! My parents will kill me. Come on, look, 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 look. Brick wall, man. His friends, right. rocks behind him. Carpe diem. Carpe diem, man. Seize your day. Would I like to come to a party? Yes. Well, sure. Wow. Yo! <laughs> I've only met her once. And already she's thinking about me. <laughs> God, this guy on dates, he will fall in love with that girl immediately and will just turn her off. And we all have a great need for acceptance. But you must trust that your beliefs are unique, your own. Even though others may think them odd, even though the herd may go, that's bad. <laughs> wow. Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in the wood and I, I took the one less traveled by. Wow. He's making them think for themselves and like be their own person and just, you know, giving them that belief that their parents took away from them and these teachers took away from them and the system took away from them. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, his life is getting sucked out by being a third wheel. 
Oh, that's her. Don't kiss her. Don't. That is just cr. Oh, okay. Uh, don't, don't. That is, bro. That is just weird, man. Oh my god. This man's taking seize the day differently, bro. They're gonna seize you, bro. It's what Sanders' brother. Imagine seeing your girl getting kissed on the forehead by another guy. Come on, man. Fly kicking him in the face. I'll read poetry while I'm fly kicking you. You just hear carpe diem, bang, in your face. Before you say anything, please let me... Dare talk back to me. You go to them and you tell them that you're quitting. No. I can't. I have the main part. The performance is tomorrow night. I don't care if the world comes to an end tomorrow night. You are through with that play. You prick, man. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Wow, this guy reminds me of my dad. I relate to this because it just drains you and you like unmotivates you and you just it wants you just like you procrastinate and you don't do shit, man. Like, you just sit in a corner and you just, like, do anything. You actually become worse. You rebel against it. I just talked to my father. He's making me quit the play at Henley Hall. <laughs> he knows, Lola. Look at him. He knows how f***ed up that is. Have you ever told your father what you just told me? About your passion for acting. You ever showed him that? I can't. And you're acting for him, too. Wow! You're playing the part of the dutiful son. Wow! Oh, but you have to talk to him. You have to show him who you are, what your heart is. There's no easy way. Face it. Seize that shit. I came to apologize for the other night. I brought you these. And a poem I wrote for you. Oh, my God. Fox, don't you know that if Chet finds you here, he'll kill you? I don't care. I love you, Chris. Oh, my God. Bro, respect this. She's in a relationship, man. I feel like Robin Williams needs to tell him about relationships and how to talk to girls as well. Oh, no, no, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. She will hate you, man. Oh, God's sake. With hair and skin of gold. Would be paradise. Yeah, but you're seizing the day in the wrong way, bitch. Chris. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Fox, you have got to stop this stuff. I can't, Chris. I love you. If you don't like me after tonight, I'll stay away forever. Uh -huh. oh, I think she likes it. Being persistent works, though. Are so infuriating. <laughs> I tell you what, like 99% of the time, this doesn't work. Reading a poem to a girl doesn't work here, but being persistent and actually showing that girl who's been craving attention from her boyfriend, who's not giving it to her, and you seizing your moment, you contributing your verse in her life, symbolisms, then you get that girl. But most of the time, it doesn't work. And smile when I am fat and being fed horse. <laughs> wow, look how supportive his mates are as well. Love it. And when she drink against her lips, I bob and on the withered do let me pour the ale. The wine is good. It's really good. The tale. You know, as a parent, yeah, if a pet, like, that guy, that dad, he would have watched this and be like, what is this dumb shit that he's doing and this tights he's wearing, yeah? But that's the point, man. That's what he loves to do. And you should shut your mouth, respect this decision. If he makes a mistake, he learns from it. But you keep putting boundaries, he will rebel, man. You would depress the shit out of him. I love him oh, man, parent not there. Oh shit, he is. Oh my god, he's gonna forget his lines or something. His dad's like, man, I paid 90 grand for him to put. <laughs> to wear a branch in his head. Man looks like the trees from Lord of the Rings. I, I kind of understand the dad a little bit as well, right? Like, what are you wearing? But that's the point, bro. 
you don't like it, that's fair enough, but that's what he wants to do. Man wants to be the tree from Lord of the Rings. You leave him alone. He's so disgusted by it, man. Look at him. He can't even stand these people. Go on. Come on. Come on, Robin. Tell him. He's doing this in purpose in front of the dad. He's doing it on purpose. Go on. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Mr. Perry, come on. Don't make it any worse than it is. Oh, man. He's right. You don't want to embarrass him. Is it okay if we walk back? Oh my God, he's so terrified. Look at this. Look at, look at his reaction. He's being terrified. He knows that kid's doomed, man. Like, you are, he has a gift and you're just sucking it out. You're literally burning his verse right now. We're trying very hard to understand why it is that you insist on defying us. Tell him, stand up on that table, scream in his face. Tell him. We're not going to let you ruin your life. Of you ruining my life, man, with your fucking hairline, bro. You have opportunities that I never even dreamt of, and I am not going to let you waste them. I've got to tell you what I feel. You've been so worried about it. Tell me what you feel. Come on. Come on. Yelp. Come on. Come on. Scream. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I was this guy, man. I legit had this conversation with my dad, like... Come on, you tell him something. I was good. Come on, you are good, bro. You are. I don't know what it was you were doing, but you're good at it, clearly. Come on. What's he doing? Is he going to jump out the window? Stop doing this creepy shit, bro. Come on, man. Come on, you know you're good, man. You know you're Kim. You saw how people stand up for you, man. Don't listen to that guy. Listen to the thousand of people that were there. Oh, my God. Imagine he goes and kills his parents. Seizes their life. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, man. Oh, he's going to kill himself. Oh, please, man. Oh, man, this is so sad. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. Come on. Remember the verse, bro. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, bro, I swear to God, if he's killed himself, I'm going to... Oh, man. Oh, man. Please, 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 man. Oh, my God, please, 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 please. Oh my God, please, man. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. He'd run away. Oh my God, he's killed himself. Oh my God. Oh, Neil! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my son! He's my right. son, my poor He's son! All right. Oh, I will take that gun. I will shoot him, man. Dad.
Oh man. Man. I was that kid as well, you know. Literally could go two ways, bro. You either stand up to your dad. I stood up to my dad and I just did my own thing, you know. Oh, man. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Explain it, Todd. It was his father. No. He wasn't his father. He wasn't. It just shows, man, like, you... It's sad because he's not with us as well, man. God's sake. I like how it's brutally honest as well, right? Like, no matter how much of a great teacher you are, no matter, like, your techniques and your ways and, like, you sit down and you care for them, man, and you're, like, you know, like, sometimes, like, you just can't save everyone, bro. You just... That's just life. That's what this is showing, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. That's literally what he was trying to do. That's the whole point of this movie. To get you out of your ways. To rip that chapter. To speak for yourself. To stand on that table. Scream. Yelp, bro. Yelp. To yelp what you want to do with your life, man. That's what he's teaching. He's not even teaching poetry, bro. He's ripping tradition. He's ri ripping, you know, this dictator shit mentality that their parents brought them up. And he's making them think for themselves. The death of Neil Perry is a tragedy. You have something to do with the expectations and the pressure you put on these kids, bro. Mr. Keating responsible for Neil? Is that what they're saying? Well, who else do you think, dumbass? The administration, Mr. Perry? And Mr. Keating put us up to all this crap, didn't he? Crap, are you mad, you prick? Shut your mouth. But I say, let Keating fry. I mean, why ruin our lives? You selfish prick. Go, Rosie, you selfish prick. You just signed your expulsion papers, New Wanda. I'd rather be expelled to be with those fake prick like he, you muppet. You can't save Keating. But you can save yourselves. Prick, shut your mouth. You don't need this school anyway, bro. They're not teaching you shit. They're just making you copy shit from the board. See, when you watch a Robin Williams movie, yeah? You don't just watch a movie, it will change your life, I swear to you. you. You forget about acting, you forget about directing, you forget about lighting. Who cares about cinematography here, how the shots are aligned? This movie will make you into a better person. That This movie does more than any other shitty movies that come out now. I couldn't care less there's not one brown person here. I couldn't care less there's no diversity here. Who give Listen to the message of this movie. What is poetry? Oh, f mate. Poetry is this fist in your face and me laughing, standing all over you, you muppet. Excuse me. Oh, please, please say something. Please, man. I came for my personals. Should I come back after class? Get them now, Mr. Keating. Look at this prick. He's doing this. Put it on the horizontal of a graph. Mr. Mr. Keating. Come on. They made everybody so Anderson. You gotta believe me, it's true. Come on. I do believe you, Tom. Leave Mr. Keating. Shut your mouth. It wasn't his fault. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. One more outburst from you or anyone else, and you're out of this school. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Scream. Come on. Deuce, bro. Come on, man. Captain, my captain. <laughs> He called him captain. He called him captain. He's standing up and them, though, he's insecure. 
silent guy, bro. He stands up on a table. This is amazing. Go captain, my captain. Oh. Come on. Man. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Prick. Shut your mouth, man. Yes! Look! The guy that didn't like him as well, he got up for him. Look at this. This. Wow, look at some of these kids. Snakes. All of you pricks. All of you. I love that. I love that. Look. Wow, the symbolisms are crazy, bro. Oh, man, I love you so much. This is amazing, man. Wow. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Robin Williams, bro. Wow. When I tell you this is one of the best films I've ever seen, it isn't because of acting. It isn't because of directing. It isn't because of, you know, all these editing, you know, no disrespect to all these people that worked in this movie, yeah? You did your job, thank you. But let me tell you something. The message behind this movie is so powerful, right? That you forget about all these things. You forget about diversity. You forget about like, you know, they were all white, yeah? I'm brown. I'm a brown guy from Iran, right? I can't relate to boarding schools, right? I can't because like my school, we used to play with rocks. I can't relate to this shit. How, like... This movie made me cry. Are you mad? I'm so far away from boarding schools, bro. I'm not that smart. I haven't got like, you know, my vocabulary is fucking basic as shit. I, I hate poetry. Right? Like, I legit, I can't stand poetry. I will turn that shit off if I ever see it. I'm not into it. But this movie, yeah, made you appreciate poetry, made you appreciate other people's decisions, no matter what it is, right? And to shut your mouth and let them live their life, bro, who are you? Who are you to tell us what to do? Who are your parents to tell you what to do, bro? Like, go do whatever you want. Who is, who, someone's going to laugh at you? Shut your mouth. No one's going to laugh at you. See, I'm not like Robin, Willi Robin Williams here. I'm not going to tell jokes. and I'll tell you, like, bro, listen to me. It took me seven years to figure out what I wanted to do. And I started YouTube. And this is what I want to do. I quit my job. My dad wanted me to do maths. Science. Follow his footsteps. That man. Find something that you love. Just yelp. Like, seize it, man. Yeah, it, it's not straight away. It takes you six or seven years. Whatever, like me, man. I, I worked in a shop for six or seven years. I did a course in university that I wasn't even into. But you eventually will find that shit that you're into and then just be passionate about it, man. Like, this movie speaks to everyone. This movie also shows you, listen, it doesn't matter if we don't have world culture or, like, this, you know, diversity in movies. It doesn't matter. As long as the message hits you in your soul, that's what counts, bro. I'm, I beg other reactors as well, right? Like, to watch this movie. Show people, man. Like, yeah, you see a picture, like, the poster, you read poetry. Like, I would have never watched this if it wasn't for the voters. If it wasn't because of Robin Williams, man. I promise you this movie will change your life. I tell you what though, also Robin Williams picks these roles that will change your life when you watch them. This man, I've never met him and he's been the best teacher to me. 
What a movie, man. Have you ever seen me this passionate during a movie react? No. Come on, man. I love this movie so much. I'll show everyone. And listen, if you're a teacher and you want to be a teacher, the, before you even do your curriculums and your CVs and like, and go to uni, watch this movie first before you become a teacher. Be passionate about the shit you want to do, man. This man was teaching you poetry. But that's what you think he was. He wasn't teaching you poetry. He was teaching you to talk for yourself, bro. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Oh, man. I swear, Robin Williams. I s man. Oh. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for reacting. Make sure, not react, f watching this reaction with me. Go on to my Patreon. Check out the full length reaction. Um, rest in peace, you absolute legend. Oh, Captain, my Captain, Robin Williams. I fucking love you, man. Take care.